crosses that form on the lesser digits, uh, most likely on joint areas or joint surfaces, where there is some type of rubbing or friction within shoe wear. As corns progress, they can present as round on sightly lesions on the joint areas or surfaces that are experiencing this rubbing. A lot of times patients will also complain of pain or discomfort along these surfaces, and at that point they'll request to see a doctor to have them removed. As is pretty commonly seen, corns will get worse with time, especially the discoloration of the skin and the thickening of the actual callus. Uh, that's why it is important once you see corns begin to form to get a consultation with a medical professional as soon as possible and uh, discussing the removal. Corn removal or surgical excision um, is handled by a elliptical excision around the corn itself. Uh, sometimes if there's an underlying bone deformity, this is also removed. Um, this is closed with subcutaneous closure and it really leaves no scar, no visible scarring in the area. So there's a great cosmetic outcome with this procedure. Because the removal of corns is most likely a soft tissue procedure, sometimes there can be, like I said, some underlying bony deformity which is removed, but in general, it is a soft tissue procedure. The recovery is pretty quick. Um, once the sutures are absorbed or taken out, I really look about one week to two weeks and you're back to normal.